All right, so I'm about to go into a kind of place that I've never seen or been to before. An RV superstore. They have like RV gadgets. It looks like all kinds of things. Just like everything RV. I'm gonna be like a kid in a candy store. This is gonna be cool. Yeah, I've been coming uh, here to get my propane. They sell propane in the lot outside and it's the cheapest around. Every time I drive by this place, I always wanna go in. Got a couple extra minutes. Today, I'm doing it. Let's see what they got in here. Okay, that was a pretty cool store. Uh, I went in, checked out all the neat stuff. They had like five different RV aisles, and then it was like a hardware store, outdoor type store. So they all kind of things store. Like hardware store, RV store combo. And yeah, they had like three or four aisles of just RV stuff, and I went through and checked out all that. I, uh, I was surprised to find that they did not have the one thing that I was looking for. And that is something I've been looking for for a while, which is an electrical 12 volt light dimmer switch. So that way I can dim my lights in the RV and not just have them be on or off. And these really bright LEDs, which are great when I want light, but kind of want to dim them down a little bit. So I've seen dimmer switches before, but they're really expensive. I was hoping to find one here. They didn't even have them here at all. So uh, what I did end up getting was some flags. So I'm gonna go, uh, once I get back to my RV, set up some cool flags on the front of it. And I'll show you which ones I got once I get there. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, I got home and I added my flags. I got a flag for Colorado, I got a flag for Arizona, and I got the American flag to go in the front. That would be pretty cool. You know, they make these big flag poles that stick up off the back of your RV and they have those there too. They were like 150 bucks. That'd be cool and all to have like a giant beacon sticking off the top. But those flagpoles were seven dollars. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool too. That's all for me tonight, folks. I'm gonna make myself some dinner and enjoy my Sunday night. I hope that you are too. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> well, after a day of having the flags sitting out here on the tongue, how I had attached them in the first place, uh, the wind had pretty much ravaged them and thrown them all over the place. Some of the poles had become disconnected. Uh, yada yada, they uh, weren't doing so well. So, I reattached them to the tongue jack. Right there, this little thing, you know, that holds the trailer up. And all three of them are on there now. And I've been sitting out here with them for about 20, 30 minutes. And they seem like they're holding up pretty good. I 
think this uh, take two should work pretty well. Also, I realized that I need a Pennsylvania state flag. You know, I'm repping Colorado because sometimes I kind of feel like that's where I'm from. You know, I mean, I lived there for a year. I always really love that state anyway. Arizona flag, because I've uh, been in the Arizona area, even though right now I'm sitting in California. And of course, the American flag out there in the front. But I feel like I need some Pennsylvania action going on here too. So uh, if anybody knows where to get a good Pennsylvania flag, send one down this way, because uh, they sure didn't have one down here in Arizona. <laughs> but wanted to provide that update because things didn't quite go as planned as of after I set up the flag yesterday. They were kind of flopping all over the place, falling, because uh, the wind is just pretty much constant out here in the desert. It just keeps going and going and going. But now, you see them blowing away. The wind's probably at least 10 miles an hour right now, and they're holding up pretty well. So I think this should work out. Loving these flags. <laughs> all right, adios amigos.